The lyrics are in the PDF that Vivian posted before, and we're going to sing Before the Throne. Before the throne of God above, I have a strong and perfect plea. The great high priest whose name is love, Whoever lives and pleads for me My name is graven on his hands My name is written on his heart I know that while in heaven he stands No tongue can bid me then depart No tongue can bid me then depart Satan tempts me to despair And tells me of the guilt within Upward I look and see him there Who made an end of all my sin Because a sinless Savior died My sinful soul is counted free for God the just is satisfied To look on Him and pardon me To look on Him and pardon me Behold Him there, the risen Lamb My perfect spotless righteousness the great unchangeable I am, the King of glory and of grace. One with himself, I cannot die. My soul is purchased by his blood. My life is hid with Christ on high, with Christ my Savior and my God. One with himself, I cannot die. My soul is purchased by his blood. My life is hid with Christ on high, with Christ my Savior and my God, with Christ my Savior and my God. King of glory and King of grace, we thank you that because of Jesus, the risen Lamb, we can approach your throne with confidence. Thank you that our souls have been purchased by you so that our lives may be hid with Christ on high. We ask that you draw each of us close to you tonight, no matter where we stand with you, Lord. We ask that your presence will be with us. Amen. This next song is um, called Jonah's Prayer. Um, it's a great reminder that no matter how we're feeling, um, we can call out to God and he hears us. Um, so as you listen or as you sing, um, just be reflecting um, on how you can turn to God and to cling to him. Let's sing. my distress, I call to the Lord. The waters rose, I sank beneath. And from the depths, He heard my voice. You raised my life, my Lord, my God. to my Lord, my rock, and in this life that fades away, worthless idols 
lead hearts astray. This is my prayer to trust in you. You raise my life, my Lord, my God. I sacrifice my voice, my own. I cling to my Lord, my rock. I will look once more to Jesus. I will see once more to you you have rescued me from darkness you have shown your grace again i will look once more to jesus i will see to you you have rescued me from darkness you have shown your grace again you raised my life my Lord my God I sat Salvation is from you, God. I cling to my Lord, my rock. Salvation is from you, God. I cling to my Lord, my rock. How oh, good. Um, so with all that's been happening recently, I think it's been easy for us to forget um, about some of the things that our country has been going through for the past few years. Um, and one of them has been drought. Um, drought's been affecting this nation uh, for the past few years um, and impacting people in so many ways. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to be watching a video which a friend of mine has recorded. Um, and she lives out in the country, um, out in yeah, Western New South Wales. Um, and what we're going to hear from her is just how much um, the drought has impacted communities over there, um, but also what God's been doing through drought. Um, I apologise for the sound in this video. Technology hasn't been our best friend, so you might have to be a little volume DJ. Um, but yeah, just bear with me as I get this video up. Okay, good day, All Saints North, I think. My name's Sarah. I am... I normally live in Sydney. I am a second year Bachelor of Nursing student at UTS um, and I go to St Barnabas Broadway. But right now I'm not in Sydney. Um, if you can tell, I'm currently in my farm ute, um, but I've stolen from my dad for a little bit to go for a drive. But um, yeah, Viv's just asked me to get on here and um, yeah, just give you guys a few points. Um, might be a few hiccups here but that's what I want to spend hours trying to film this. Um, but yeah, so Viv's just asked me if I could give you guys some ideas of how you can be praying for drought affected communities um, and farms during this time. So yeah, the town I'm from is Baraba, it's got about 1200 people um, and yeah, so northwest New South Wales. Um, it's been pretty impacted by the drought that has yeah, been around for the past two, three years. Um, it relies on the income of farmers and, and um, yeah, so a lot of small businesses that 
if the farmers aren't making money then they, neither are they so it's been pretty yeah it's had a bit of a hard time but we're on the mend and we're getting better um, it's rained I'll in a second I'll um, give you a little tour of one of my paddocks um, where the grass is so long at the moment it's awesome um, yeah so the drought was hard um, yeah it's really I think I saw it impact people like my dad um, and other farmers around quite heavily in terms of like mental health and just the stress was pretty full on I think yeah not really enjoying your work or going to work for you know full days from 6 30 till 6 at night with um, yeah basically working without getting paid is the situation that they were in um, so yeah that was really hard um, really took yeah quite the toll I think on a lot of people um, I think uh, churches were a really big part in um, supporting communities and I think that was really cool to see. I know Anglican Aid raised a lot of money and that I know directly supported um, my community back in Baraba. So yeah, be encouraged by that um, if you're a part of that and yeah, I think it was cool so I think um, it's my church in Baraba got given money from other churches like a church down in Tasmania um, and then we were able to divide that up sort of between different families and yeah they knew that was from the church and so I think that's a really cool opportunity that they were able to see that. Um, in terms of how God's been at work during this time I think I've, I've personally seen him at work in the hearts of individuals mostly um, so I think in the way that he has yeah, really made them rely on him um, and really shown individuals that everything comes from him and that, yeah, they can't, um, yeah, that he can give and take away at any time. And I think that yeah, has been challenging for some people um, and hopefully has drawn them um, closer to him. But uh, yeah, that's definitely, I think, something that we can pray for is that People will um, see that God took away so much from them during the drought and that it is him who's now giving things back and that it's him who's making the grass grow and sending rain um, more regularly. Uh, so yeah, we, I think praying that people realise it's God and give him the glory for that. Um, yeah, he's yeah, clearly answered prayers. Looking, I'll show you in a second, but looking at at my grassy paddocks now, prayers have been answered, it's, yeah, amazing, um, if I think back to, like, this, like, December, even January this year, it was, the paddock that I'm in now was just dirt, like, there was no grass in it, but now the grass is nearly as tall as me, it's pretty awesome, um, so yeah, give praise to God for that, I'm, I'd like to read a little Bible verse, um, a big Bible verse, I should say, because it's huge, big news. Um, yeah, just a sort of one that I kept going back to during the last few years and that I think we should keep going back to, even though it has rained in my community now. Now, to her point, still some communities that don't have rain. Um, so I think down south, sort of, uh, yeah, the ones that are recovering from bushfires as well still need some rain. Um, so yeah, we can be praying for that. Um, so I'll read this verse from Job chapter 5, um, verses 8 to 11. So as for me, I would seek God, and to God would I commit my cause. Who does great things and unsearchable marvellous things without number? He gives rain on earth and sends water on the fields. He, who's, he sets on high those who are lowly and those who are mourn are lifted to safety. Yeah, I'll give you a quick tour of my farm of this paddock now. Okay, so this is just a little show of a, one of the paddocks on my property. So we, we are on about 2,000 acres here um, and we do beef cattle. So when you eat a steak, think of the farmers that, you, that grew it for you. Um, yeah, so I'll give you, a, so if you think back, um, probably two months ago, most of the paddocks looked like this, just dirt. So this is a road, that's why there's no grass. But now they're so lush, so grassy, 
Um, yeah, there's so much more feed here. Um, yeah, Dad's not going out feeding every day. He's currently having a nap. That's why I've been able to steal the farm utes. So, um, yeah, there's so much grass here. You can just praise God for that. Um, I don't know if you can see, there's a couple of happy bulls over under that tree there. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, keep, keep farming communities in um, your prayers at the moment. I think, yeah, there's crazy stuff happening in the world, but we're still rebuilding, um, still recovering from the drought, um, and it's still hard. So, yeah, I know there's lots of other things to be praying and thinking about, but it would be awesome to still be thought of and prayed for. Um, but yeah, how good is this grass? Thank you. Bye. Jesus said that if I thirst, I should come to him. No one else can satisfy. I should come to him. Jesus said if I am weak, I should come to him. No one else can be my strength, I should come to Him. For the Lord is good and faithful, He will keep us day and night. We can always run to Jesus, Jesus strong and kind. Jesus said that if I fear, I should come to Him. No one else can be my shield, I should come to Him. For the Lord is good and faithful, He will keep us day and night. We can always run to Jesus, Jesus strong and kind. Jesus said, if I am lost, he will come to me. And he showed me on that cross, he will come to me. For the Lord he is good and faithful, he will keep us day and night. We can always run to Jesus, Jesus strong and kind. For the The next song we're going to sing is called Another in the Fire. It reminds us that regardless of what things we're going through, God will be there with us. Let's sing this together, confident that we worship a God who is in control. When the heart is under fire Another way when the walls are closing in And when I look at the space between Where I used to be and this reckoning I know I will never be alone There was another in the fire Standing next to me was another in the waters, oh 
holding back the seas And should I ever need reminding Of how I've been set free There is a cross that bears the burden Where another died for me There is another in the fire My dead left for dead beneath the waters I'm no longer a slave to my sin anymore And should I fall in the space between What remains of me and this reckoning Either way I will bow to the things of this world And I know I will never be alone there is another in the fire standing next to me. There is another in the waters holding back the seas. And should I ever need reminding of what power set me free? There is a grave that holds nobody. Now the power lives in me. There is another in the fire. Another in the fire And I can see the ground In the darkness As the darkness bows to him I can hear the roar In the heavens As the space between west thin I can see the ground Shake beneath us As the prison walls cave in But nothing stands between us Nothing stands between us There is no other name but the name that is Jesus He who was and still is and to be through it all so come what may in the space between all the things unseen and this reckoning I know I will never be alone I know I will never be alone There'll be another in the fire standing next to me There'll be another in the waters holding back the seas should I ever need reminding How good you've been to me I count the joy come every battle Cause I know that's where you'll be And I can see the light In the darkness As the darkness bows to him I can hear the roar In the heavens As the space between west thin I can feel the ground Shake beneath us as the prison walls cave in But nothing stands between us But nothing stands between us We're going to head into a time of prayer now um, and a couple of us are going to pray for um, yeah, some things and issues happening around the world So please pray with me Lord God and Heavenly Father, we come before you now in prayer, knowing that you're a God who provides. You listen and you act and you see and you feel our pain with us. Lord, we look back and recognise times when we have been ungrateful, when you have poured rain over the land for it to flourish and produce and we have complained of its inconvenience. We praise you, Lord, for the drought-breaking rain that has reached many areas. But God, we also recognise that it did not reach everywhere where it was needed and that recovery from it cannot just happen overnight. We pray that as a nation, we would not forget about this and as a church, we will continue to look to support people in prayer. We bring before you families, individuals and whole communities, God, who have been crushed by the effects of this ongoing drought. We ask for a sense of your great peace, care and healing to be with those for whom the stresses and pressures of this situation has resulted in relationship breakdown, domestic violence, 
mental illness and suicide. Strengthen, sustain and guide our farmers and those affected who are crushed in spirit, Lord. Draw them in during this time and help them look and cling to you. Thank you, God, for the ultimate renewal of your land, the ultimate refreshment and res res restoration of your world to come. Thank you for this promise and assured hope. May it be something that fuels people during this time to act as a light within communities. God, we also pray for livestock and wildlife that you have created to dwell and flourish in your land. Bring healing to their habitats and sources. Lord, in your loving provision, may you send abundant rain soon to those places where it is still needed. We ask these things in your son's name. Amen. Yeah, we're just going to spend some time um, praying for the bushfires now. Um, and as Viv said, um, you know, these things only happened like a few months ago. Um, and there's definitely still ongoing effects um, and, and things happening um, surrounding that. Um, so please just join, join me in prayer. Lord God, the whole earth is, is crying out for you crying out for a saviour. Lord, you created this beautiful and unique country um, and it's hard to see it um, ravaged and damaged um, by the bushfires. I particularly just want to lift to you, um, you know, those um, who ex experienced it firsthand. Um, for those who lost their homes and property, the firefighters, um, the people grieving the loss of loved ones and the millions of animals who also lost their lives. Lord, please um, lift their spirits. Um, please, yeah, give a new heart to these people, Lord. Um, Lord, in your loving providence, um, bring new life up from the earth, from these places ravaged by bushfires. Um, bring new life to the hearts of the broken and weary. Lord, you alone give us hope beyond what we can see. And we just want to lift this all up to you in your loving name. Amen. Let's continue in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you are in control even in these difficult circumstances. Psalm 46 reminds us of this. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. God, we thank you that you are our refuge and strength, our help in times of trouble. God, we acknowledge that for many, COVID-19 is more than just an inconvenience. Please protect those among us who are vulnerable, those who are homeless or sick or elderly. We also think of those who risk their own health to protect us. Please be sustaining the work, medical workers and keeping them safe. God, ultimately we ask that you would bring an end to this virus. We pray for those who are feeling anxious and stressed in this time of uncertainty. Thank you that in you we can find rest and peace and please give those who are struggling a sense of your peace. Please comfort those um, for whom that this time is a time of loneliness and isolation. And please be working through us to support and show your love to those in need. God, we pray for those who don't yet know you. May those who don't know you as their saviour realise that the things of this world are temporary, but there is an eternal hope to be found in you. As we think of the world at the moment, we also pray for all those in decision-making capacities. Please be giving them wisdom to make the right choices. God, we thank you that you are a God who hears us and who loves us. Help us all cling to Jesus' words in John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. We pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. Um, so one of the ways in which we can encourage one another as yeah, followers of Christ at the moment is just to be praying with one another. Um, and that's what we're going to do now. Um, we're going to spend some time in breakout rooms. So, yep, you guys are going to be part of it. You guys are actually going to, yeah, 
Um, it, like it might be with people you don't know, it might be with people who you're super familiar with, um, but we're going to spend some time, um, yeah, being able to pray for some of the issues which our nation has been going through. There's heaps of prayer points in the PDF, or you might just want to use it as a time where you just pray for one another um, and pray for, um, yeah, how things have been impacting you. Um, but I'd encourage you guys to use this time well, um, to get to know people, um, to encourage and build one another up um, through praying for one another and, yeah, spending that time in fellowship. Um, for some of you, you might not be comfortable at all doing this. So if, like, that's you right now and you're sweating bullets, just send a message in the chat and just say, I don't want to be part of it um, and we'll leave you out. Um, but for everyone else, I'm going to have some... Uh, good fun and press the random assort button for breakout rooms. Um, and we're going to spend about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, yeah, just praying for one another, praying for the issues which come up. Um, so I'm going to get onto that now and we're going to spend some time praying. Continue to sing, Christ is mine forevermore.
But mine is hope in my Redeemer. Though I fall, His love is sure. For Christ has paid for every failing. I am His forevermore. Mine are tears in times of sorrow, darkness not yet understood. Through the valley I must travel, where I see no earthly good. But mine is peace that flows from heaven, and the strength in times of need. I know my pain will not be wasted. Christ completes his work in me. Mine are days here as a stranger, pilgrim on a narrow way. One with Christ I will encounter, harm and hatred for his name. But mine is armor for this battle, strong enough to last the war. And he has said he will deliver safely to the golden shore. And mine are keys to Zion City, where beside the king I walk. For there my heart has found its treasure. Christ is mine forevermore. Come rejoice now, O oh my soul, for his love is my reward. Fear is gone and hope is sure. Christ is mine forevermore. Come rejoice now, all my soul, for his love is my reward. Fear is gone and hope is sure. Christ is mine forevermore. And mine are keys to Zion City, where beside king I walk, for there my heart has found its treasure. Christ is mine forevermore, and Christ is mine forevermore. Christ is mine forevermore. play to a backing track and if this works it'll be a Christmas miracle. This is our last song, All Creatures of Our God and King. It's such a ripper. Get into it. Sing loud. One. God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing, oh praise Him, Alleluia, thou burning sun with golden beam, thou silver moon with softer gleam, oh praise Him. Oh, praise Him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, praise 
Father, praise the Son, and praise the Spirit, three in one. by his blood come and rejoice in his great love oh praise him alleluia Christ has defeated every sin cast all your burdens now on him to reign heaven and earth will join to say oh praise him alleluia then who shall fall on bended knee all creatures of our God and King brings us to the end of our first prayer and praise night on zoom um thank you guys so much for sticking with us um through the night um, i hope it's been such an encouraging time um for you guys in your homes um to gather together um as god's church as his people um, to be able to pray for one another hear how we're all doing um, as a church um but i want to encourage you guys not to end that here um don't stop those conversations don't stop praying for one another here um, feel free to share in that event page what you found encouraging through tonight. Um, share with your friends from your churches if you go to a different church. Um, just be sharing um, all that God's doing in your life. Um, let's, yeah, let's go out and be a church that um, is, yeah, a light and a witness um, to fear-filled and anxious society. Um, I'm going to wrap up by praying, so would you pray with me? Um, yeah, these are words from Hebrews, um, chapter 10, verse 24 to 25. And it says, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up on meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as we see the day approaching. Heavenly Father, um, yeah, we want to live out that verse. Um, we want to be people um, who encourage one another more and more as we see the day approaching. Um, Lord, help us not give up on meeting together as your church. Um, Lord, we're not going to do that physically anytime soon from the looks of it. But Lord, we thank you that you've given us technology to help us yes, still come together as your people. Um, so as we head out into our weeks, whatever they may look like, Lord, I ask that you would be with us. Um, help us be people that first of all uh, come to you, um, but help us be people that reach out uh, to others that you've placed in our lives. Um, yeah, as we look forward to that day um, when you will return, when we'll see you face to face, um, yeah, help us fix our eyes on that um, in this time. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
Well, thank you for joining us. Um, I'm going to end the meeting there. Um, but yeah, it's been good having you and feel free to post whatever you want, whatever's encouraged you on that event page.